I am going to demonstrate the technique of ultrasonic aided lateral compaction. We had selected uh, lower premolar as the uh, demo teeth and I will also demonstrate the procedure in one endo block also. Both of these canals are prepared up to 4 percentage 35 and the master cone has been adjusted uh, 0.5 to 1 millimeter short of working length. First I will demonstrate the irrigation protocol. So I will demonstrate the irrigation uh, in this premolar. For irrigation you have to use the side bending 30 gauge needle with the lever lock syringe because this type of needle will uh, clog very easily. So it is better to use lever lock syringe to avoid spillage of the irrigation. So first I am using EDTA just before the operation. Throughout the procedure of instrumentation you can use uh, hypochlorate uh, in, inside the canal and uh, be, uh, after the uh, selection of the master cone just before the operation you have to irrigate the canal with the uh, EDTA 17 percentage Charcot's EDTA do not wet the needle inside the canal then you can use the master cone or uh, one mm short of the working length to agitate the EDTA solution this is called manual dynamic agitation uh, you can uh, agitate the EDTA with this master cone itself and another technique for activating the irrigation is using endo activator endo activator usually the uh, various types of tips are available but in most of the cases you can use uh, the red tip so you can activate the irrigation just one mm short of the working length Usually one minute of irrigation of EDTA is sufficient. Irrigation with the EDTA will help to remove the smear layer that has been created during the procedure. You can also activate the irrigation with the U files that is ultrasonic files that I will show when I am activating. So then again irrigate with either uh, normal saline or distilled water remove the excess solution by pulling the syringe back then next is 5 percentage hypochlorate again uh, do not wet the needle inside the canal do just an up and down motion you can again do the manual dynamic agitation and endo activator the next one is activation with the uh, u files this is e1 endo chuck and uh, u files 25 size these u files can be attached to this endo chuck and this can be connected to our normal scalar unit to activate the irrigation so when activating with ultrasonics uh, you have to tighten this files with the hand itself because sometimes if you are using the chuck the u files may be uh, damaged so make sure that uh, you have tightened it very well so next is activation with the u file uh, after filling the canal with the hypochlorite you can activate the hypochlorite with the u files in lower low power do not wet the u files so activation with the u files will helps to remove the debris from the canal by acoustic streaming of the irrigation and also hypochlorite will be wound by this action which will increase the efficiency of the hypochlorite so again one to two minutes activation with the ultrasonic files will helps to achieve a good clean canal so again remove the hypochlorite with saline or distilled water remove the excess saliva from the uh, sorry uh, saline from the canal then again next is drying of the canal you can use absorbent paper point for this purpose here i am using 4 percentage 30 or you can use 35 also absorbent paper points mix here also. 2 to 3 paper points per canal will be sufficient to dry the canal. Make sure that your paper point is completely dry when you take it out. And next is you can 
disinfect the GP master master cone by putting it in hypochlorite uh, for two minutes. After the selection of master cone with radiograph, you can coat this uh, sealer. So next is coating canal with the master cone. Master cone itself is used for coating the canals. Here I am using Sealapex as the uh, sealer. Then we can use the flare spreader. Here this is a, f a 25 size flare spreader. Uh, in most of the cases it will be in enough for the lateral condensation. This is 5% spreaders from the Mani. Uh, if it is a very narrow canal you can use the yellow one and if it is a very large canal you can use the blue one so you can uh, do the lateral condensation Make sure that uh, your spreader doesn't go uh, below the middle third. If you don't, if you are not doing a, a little bit of ultra condensation, sometimes the master cone will be pulled out when you are inserting the ultrasonic tip. So, a little bit of lateral condensation is preferred before inserting the ultrasonic tip. Next is you have to remove the excess GP. A heated instrument is used to remove the excess GP. And using a pegio probe, you can vertically condense the GP. Now ultra, for ultrasonic uh, compaction usually I use these two tips. This one is E5 tip. E5 tip is from woodpecker or EMS. Uh, its working uh, portion is only having about 15 mm length. So usually for molars it will be sufficient. If it is a very long canal you can use this tip. This one is RS1 from Cybron Endo. RS1 actually it is a diamond coated tip but uh, it is actually meant for removal of calcification and mb2 canal coating etc but once it is calcification uh, diamond coating is lost after repeated usage you can use it as a spreader it is an excellent spreader for ultrasonic compaction i usually prefer rs1 or e5 because the metal conduction uh, heat conduction of this spreader is also very good so in this procedure i am using this one because the canal length is a 21 mm so i am using rs1 tip in this case Again, you have to uh, tighten it with the hand on hand itself. E5 tips doesn't have a water port, but RS1 tips have water port, so you have to switch off the water. Make sure that it is tightened and adjust the length. You have to make sure that your tip is about 5 millimeter or 4 millimeter short of the working length. Insert the tip. Once it is reached to the desired length, hold it for 5 to 10 seconds without heating, without uh, any activation. This is for to compensate the shrinkage. If it focus to compensate for the shrinkage of the GP when it is heated. So after that, you can use lateral pressure. To remove the coronal GP again do a little vertical condensation without heat then again you have to uh, fill the coronal space using uh, lateral condensation here you can use 4 percentage 25 GP because the coronal space will be little bit larger 
so you can easily fill it with 4.25 GP Access removed, GPU is removed. Using a heated instrument, and again, vertically condense the GPU, and you can give remove the GPU up to the uh, orifice level, and you can give an access restoration. So, this is a procedure of ultrasonic compaction. Next, I will demonstrate the same procedure in uh, uh, the endo training model also. Here also the model has been prepared up to 4 percent 35 and the master phone has been selected. First you have to coat the canal with the sealer using master phone itself. Make sure that you have got a good tuck back. Remove the excess GP. Then do a lateral condensation. Here uh, we have selected the 4 percentage, uh, 5 percentage, 25 file, Mani flare files, uh, flare spreader. Since it's a very narrow canal, there is no space for the condenser, so much space. Once you insert the spreader, you can insert lateral, uh, you can uh, fill that space with the lateral condensation using 4 percentage, 20 GP. In very narrow canal you can use the uh, yellow file also this one is nickel titanium revo spreader four percentage files revo make try to insert that also but it is very tight so there is no space remove the excess coronal gp using an using a heated instrument just vertically plug using that instrument itself this one rs1 spreader you can insert rs1 spreader in, into the canal make sure that you, you are not staying inside the canal more than 10 seconds so if you are taking more than 10 seconds uh, give a rest for two to three seconds one advantage is ultrasonic compaction is once you remove the foot uh, take your foot out of the foot control the temperature will be dropped within seconds itself then hold it for 5 to 10 seconds to compensate for the shrinkage without heating then if you want to remove the excess coronal GP you can give a slight lateral pressure so that excess coronal GP will be removed and again for coronal filling you have to use uh, flare spreaders and uh, GP if it is a narrow canal you can use 4 percentage 20 GP for coronal space filling and if it is a large canal you can use 4 percentage 25 because the money flare spreaders are 5 percentage spreaders so you can use 4 percentage GP as accessory cones or if you want you can use non standardized GP also One advantage of this type of sealer is that it will give adequate working time so that it won't set during lateral condensation. So you have to select a sealer with adequate working time to do a lateral condensation. Now remove the excess GP. Vertically plug and give an access restoration. You can uh, clean the um, chamber using the acid or uh, alcohol if you want. It's better to remove all sealer uh, from the uh, chamber before uh, giving access restoration. The operation. Thank you.